Okay, so this is a vehicle I have been looking forward to driving and for a couple of years since I saw it introduced at the LA Auto Show. This is the 2024 Kia EV9 all electric SUV. It's a three row SUV and this is the GT line of this all electric, very sporty, very quick, quiet, fast EV. It'll hold six or seven passengers depending on the configuration of the second row seats. In this case, we've got these lovely, luxurious captain's chairs with fold down seating and actually a leg rest to keep your family happy in the second row. So this is in fact a six person SUV and it's beautiful outside and in. Very striking exterior look to it. It looks like a kind of a big tank and that's fine. That is what Kia is looking for. Make a big, bold appearance in this all electric SUV. So you're gonna get up to 270 miles of electric range. And in fact, I have been driving it all week. I got down to about 120 mile range and that's why I'm now charging it up. On my second to last day, it's been about six days, charging the vehicle up because I'm taking my grandkids back and forth to school. That eats up about 30 miles each way. So I wanna make sure I'm good to go and I'm charging it up and guess what it told me it's going to take me about 15 minutes to go from my 47% to 80%. That is what I call fast charging and in fact that's the benefit of this Kia EV9, the 800 volt architecture that Kia has in all of its electric vehicles is a future proof system that is ready for fast charging and faster charging. In this case, it's hyper fast charging here at this Electrify America station. So you've got fast charging capabilities wherever you go in this Kia EV9. And in fact, you can get from 20 to 80% in under 30 minutes. I'm going from about 43% to 80% and that's gonna take me 15 minutes. So I better talk fast, right? Cause I gotta get on the road with 80% charge. So you've got two possible powertrains for available for this EV9. There's the 76.1 kilowatt per hour powertrain that'll give you 215 horsepower. Like I say, electric vehicles are fast off the block. This Kia EV9 blows all their socks off. It is fast, fast, fast. So there's also an optional 99.5 kilowatt single motor that will give you an all EV range of up to 300 miles of range. And then there's the dual motor, which is a 283 kilowatt per hour all wheel drive. That'll produce 379 horsepower with 516 pound foot of torque. In other words, you are flying off the line. And really the only time you need that kind of acceleration is when you need to pass somebody or get out of a situation. I really appreciate having that ability kick it into gear when you need it. It's not even a gear though, it's electric, so it's just instant torque, instant takeoff. Now there are four drive modes. There's the eco and the normal, the sport mode, and then the my mode that's configured to the way you want to drive it. But that sport mode, boy, that will throw your passengers back in the seat. You better warn them before you do it because that is fast, fast, fast. So many cool interior features that I like. There's a wonderful heads up display right in front of the driver. I love that because it gives me the speed limit, the speed I'm going. It gives me navigational directions and it tells me about cars in front or the side of me as I'm driving on the freeway with adaptive cruise control. Lots of great features right there in my heads up display. It's got a wonderful screen that goes all the way across from the driver over to the center 
and a large screen for the maps or for audio or climate control all right there now there are also some hidden until lit haptic switches that you touch and it'll change the screen to whatever you want from home to map to search to media to yeah, favorites it it's got all kinds of interesting uh, things there but what i find is that i tend to want to rest my hand there while i'm going for the touch screen and that could change those switches and i could be pressing switches i don't intend to press so that'll take some getting used to trying to navigate through this wonderful screen in the ev9 now there's also a very interesting stock right here that has the ev start stop switch as well as the switch that toggles between drive and reverse and neutral uh, right still right there there's no gear shift nothing on this on the dash it's right here on the center stock and you press the button here for p for park and it's good to go i love this center console that gives you uh, plenty of space for your cup holders or you could push the cup holders in and have even more space for something else that you want next to the cups maybe you want one cup but then you want space for maybe a phone or a small purse but remember there's also a wireless charger right down through the center that will that will charge your phone as you're driving keep it nice and safe and secure but below that there's another it's like a two level center console so there's plenty of space for purses or uh, other things that can be uh, secured down below the center uh, console and you've got places for storage in addition this uh, center console slides back to give people in the back seat a table and cup holders and storage area for the back seat people in the second row seat so that's really nice and like i say there's three rows of seats they're all very comfortable the first and second row in this vehicle have power leg rest that uh, when you're in park give you extra leg support if you want to lay down and take a nap you've got leg rests that'll be there for you both in the front row and in the second row which is really really cool Now all the seats fold flat in this Kia EV9 so that you have plenty of cargo room when the seats are fold flat. When they're all up, you have very little cargo room and we've experienced that when we were taking our ukuleles and our tripods. It really filled up the little space behind the third row. But you could always put one seat down or both seats down and negotiate how much cargo space you're gonna need versus how much space you're gonna need for passengers. I took my son Lauren out for a test drive and while he's usually a truck guy, he came away very impressed by the EV9. Oh, what? It's got the side. Yeah, oh, yeah. Blind spot All Kios and Hyundai's have that now. Blind spot monitor when you have the turn signal on. Pretty cool. I, you know, there you go. Wow. Isn't that fun? That's got, that's got some power, that's for sure. So, yeah, you, you could uh, see. see how the regenerative uh, brakes work, see? Yeah. And that's something you don't oh, wow. you can get around without using your brakes at all you just click, you, click 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 <laughs> yeah so final impressions of the uh kia ev9 all electric three wheel as you like it you like it i like it lots of room tons of power nice and quiet everything you want without the noise and the gas standard advanced collision avoidance and driver assist features including emergency braking I'll tell you what it is the safest vehicle I have found keeping me in the lane keeping me a distance from the car in front of me and just making sure I don't get into any issues while driving in busy busy traffic situations 
Now there's also, because it's an electric vehicle, it has an onboard power generator that turns the EV9 into like a mobile power source for computers or camping or other tailgating technology you might want. And in fact, if you have a power outage at home, you can then tap into the power source of this EV9 to power some of your appliances to keep your house running during a power outage. How cool is that? How about this? It's telling me that there's a traffic camera ahead. Interesting. We've got a full digital rear view mirror. So if you flip the switch, you can go from a regular rear view mirror up here, flip the switch and you got digital. So any heads or anything that is in the back seats are not going to be in the way of obstructing your view of behind the vehicle. Got some pretty interesting headrests. They're they're very uh, flexible. They've got lots of air, lots of space behind them, so your head will never get warm or sweaty because you got plenty of airflow there. Another interesting thing about these seats. These are beautiful seats, by the way. But you have buttons here to move them. I may use that when my grandsons get in the car. This moves the seat back and forth. This changes the tilt. All done from the driver's seat, so I could do that for, for people who are sitting in the back. Yeah. Put it all the way up. Oh, I like Let it. Let it in. Oh, well, I, does this one, does this one. Oh! Whoop. So I want to take a moment to thank everybody for watching this video. If you like it, please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Uh, I appreciate your support and love to hear from you what you might want to see. Any cars you want me to review in the future, let me know. I'll try to respond to every comment that we get. Come ride shotgun with me on Car Guy Drives. <music>